Hello everybody, I'm NJ Sullivan and welcome to my vlog again. I thought today I'd talk about something that I've seen pretty much everywhere I've ever worked and in my own personal life and in my own career and I'm seeing it in creative communities which I'm finding very interesting. It's something that I've kind of railed against for a while without actually having a name to put to it and now I have a name to put to it and it is called the sunk cost fallacy now the sunk cost fallacy brief description here is when you've put so much time effort money etc into something that even though it's not working you refuse to give it up based on what you've spent or, or what you've put into it realizing that fallacy was part of the reason that I suspended production like I talked about in my last vlog. It was part of the reason that I decided to go back to grassroots basically because I was so worried I had made these commitments and I was so invested in the process of what I was doing that I didn't realize that what I was doing wasn't working. My process wasn't working. My output wasn't great regardless of how much effort I put into it. In fact the more effort I put into it the worse I got because of the stress levels it caused. So that's it for me. That's one of the ways I've seen it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm the king of the allergies today. The way I see it most often in social media, in creative communities, especially the writing community, it's the one I have the most interaction with, so it's the one that I see it most often, is people who are sinking tons of time and effort into social media marketing and just massive amounts of their time and their effort and sometimes in, in some cases money and they're sinking all this in even though it has shown no dividend for them and it's been proven to have a very low dividend now do I know the answer to marketing obviously not if I do find the answer that works for me it probably won't work for most of you that's not how things work there is no one-size-fits-all However, people have become convinced that there is a one-size-fits-all. If I do this thing that all of these marketing blogs say I should do, and all these gurus on Twitter, and I'm still calling it Twitter, and Instagram say I should do, I'll be a success. And they dump a ton of time and effort into those techniques and into those tactics and into those beliefs. And they don't work. And they refuse to get up, up, give up on them even though they're not working because of the time and effort they've put into it. A good example of this is something that I've talked about before. I've talked about it in podcasts. I've talked about it on the social media. I've talked about it in person to people. Is that the people say, oh, you need to build a community. Even there are people in the publishing industry you know, agents and publishers and editors who will say, you know, we won't look at you unless you can prove you have a built-in community. And A, that's just silly. And B, it's completely opposite to the reality of the situation in 99.99% .99 of cases. The people you see on social media who have large social media followings, as I said in my last vlog, have those large social media followings because of what they do. They didn't have them before they release their first book or put out their first single. They got those communities because of their work. They didn't get the community and then introduce the community to their work. But once you've put in a certain amount of time or effort or money or, you know, put emotional stakes in it, whatever the case may be, it's hard to let go of it because of what you've already invested. Even though you're better off letting go of it. And that's the sunk cost fallacy that it's worth it to keep going because of what you've already spent. It's also called crying over spilt milk. Just to give you guys another name for it that's a bit more evocative. Or putting good money after bad. And that's something that has always bothered me. Another great example of this is I see I'm not on Twitter very much anymore at all. I monitor our accounts. Occasionally I'll put an update or a notice up on there or use it to DM someone that I don't have any other way to contact. But people all the time saying, I've lost all my engagement. Nobody is seeing my stuff anymore. It's been like this for months. And 
they're still beating that dead horse because they've put so much effort into building that platform for themselves that even though the platform through no fault of their own has failed they keep going with it and I think part of the reason for that is change is scary and starting over is hard trust me I'm in the process of doing it right now in a lot of ways but you can't be sentimental about time already spent or money already spent or effort already spent it's already gone then another term for it for the opposite of the sunk cost fallacy is bygones it's already gone you can't do anything about it it also means admitting a mistake and a lot of people don't like to do that hey this stopped working and now we got to go back go back and do something different and you know all your eggs in one basket I've said that before too don't put all your eggs in one basket but yeah the sunk cost fallacy is something that I see a ton of people engaging in you know I've put all this time and effort into building this community well first of all that community if they didn't show up because of your work they're most likely not going to be interested in your work social media the average social media um, conversion rate from social media follower to fan or purchaser of your work is averages around two percent you're putting in a ton of effort for two percent so that in itself I'm sure there's a logical fallacy that covers that I don't know it off the top of my head you think you're gonna get big rewards out of this because everybody tells you oh this is the way to do it but in reality none of the data backs that up it would be admitting that too that would be the mistake you're admitting to or admitting that the system doesn't work for you anymore it's just like leaving a relationship that has gone flat it's literally the same thing this person has changed and I don't like them anymore I don't love them anymore whatever but I've put so much time and effort into this relationship that I don't just want to give up on it well it's already dead bury it yeah I, I I'm going through this process myself and I have fallen prey to the sunk cost fallacy myself many times so you know nobody is above it certainly not me there are fortune 500 companies that have completely burned themselves to the ground because of it I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of that because that's just a whole other conversation um, so yeah I think I don't really give advice in fact we have a rule about giving advice that we don't so I'm just making you guys aware that this is a thing that happens and I see people doing it every day multiple times a day on every single platform that we're engaged with in any way it's constant and it's detrimental it's not only detrimental to your business and your work but it's detrimental to you as a person because you're burning energy on things that no longer have any value so yeah I think that's gonna be all from me um, I hope you guys are all having a great day and if you like this don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and if you agree with it if you disagree with it if you think I'm a raving lunatic or a complete idiot feel free to leave a comment below I do read them and until next time take care of yourselves take care of each other and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.